What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. You and you're watching Rage and Nation Mail. This is just the web series where I open up the mail from the Rage and Nation. This is episode number 81, and we're going to start off with a letter from uh, Manir Rated. Manir Rated, okay? That is a very unique name, and I am going to see what Manir has in store for me in this letter. And uh, you know what? I think he has some art. Oh, yes, he does. Holy cow. Hi, Alex. I'm a big fan of you and Transformers. I love your videos. Be sure to check out some videos I am going to upload. And he's got Grimlock, Optimus, Crosshairs, Kate, and Tessa. Kate! Oh, Kate! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Check that out. Here is Grimlock. Here's Optimus Prime. Here is Crosshairs. And there's Kate. Kate? And there's Tessa. So thank you very much, Manir. Really appreciate that. The next letter is from a mystery person. So um, we're gonna find out in just a second. Let me just put the proper incisions at, uh, at, in this letter, and we're gonna we're gonna open be opening up some mail. I mean, I mean, this is crazy. Whoops! Almost dropped my knife. Here we go. We got letters, and uh, here we go. Hey Alex, you big fan, love your videos, good year, good year for Extinction on 27th, I'm glad that I live in Utah because of Transformers. P.S. Give me a shout out to my account on Instagram at goldenman320. Follow me if you can, and... Okay, <laughs> um, follow him at at Golden Man 320 or 321. Uh, there's a head of Optimus, all right? And here you see a battle sequence with the Dinobots. Check that out. Look at that. I mean, you can see Grimlock breathing fire, and this is a recreation of the scene in Hong Kong. So, very, very cool job. I mean, you know, drawing a drawing Transformers is something that I really enjoyed when I was a kid. So, um, uh, it's something that uh, I can see you enjoy as well. So let's open the next one, and this is from Sam. The Sam's got something for me, and uh, this this envelope feel, feels kind of thick. All right, so I imagine there's a couple of pages in here. So let's start off with this. Oh, a very unique folding technique that he's done. Okay, very unique. That's why I'm gonna open it properly to make sure that I got it right. Okay. Dear Alex, you, I've been watching your videos for a while, and I was wondering if you give me and my friend. Uh, 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 what? Oh, okay. I was wondering if you could give me and my friend LOL or 101 Shapeshifter a shout out, and I've been curious as to what your favorite TF Trilogy quote is. With regards to Age of Extinction toys, what do you think the Hasbro version of Deluxe Lockdown will be like? Sincerely, Sam Bailey Prime. Okay, well, check out 101 Shapeshifter uh, on YouTube. And also, you're curious about my favorite TF Trilogy quote. Well, I've never really thought about that. Uh, uh, let me just think. Uh, my favorite quote would be... Um, I don't have one. I can't even think. I cannot think of one. I mean, if we're talking about the trilogy, uh, I, all I keep on thinking about is Class Dismissed. I, I just keep on thinking about class dis of class dismissed because actually that Mexican standoff was one of the most unique uh, uh, battle sequences in I think in the entire Transformers live action saga. So I'm gonna go with class dismissed. Uh, and uh, what do I think the Hasbro version of Deluxe Lockdown is gonna be like? It's gonna be the same except uh, there's a couple of paint differences compared to the Takara one. Oh, check that out! Here's a drawing of the toy of the leader class Optimus Prime. You can see what he's done here. You can see that those little panels uh, over on the shoulders. So you can tell that it is the toy version of Optimus Prime. So that is pretty cool that you got that. Oh boy, look at that. This is the leader class Grimlock in pencil. Pencil sketch leader class Grimlock. I recognized it right away. All right, so very awesome. You did a great job, Sam. And um, keep up the good work, okay? So I'm just going to put this away. I'm going to fold it in the exact same way you folded it because I thought that that was very cool how you did that. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let's put this away and we're going to open a big letter from Daniel. 
and uh, he is a Twitter follower and Rage Nation VIP member. Okay, let's open this. And this is a very, very uh, uh, big, big letter, uh, envelope rather, because it comes in a, 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 a brown envelope. And brown envelopes are usually consist of something uh, that, are, that, are, uh, that can't be folded. Okay, so let's, let's see what we got here. Whoa, there's a number of pages. Okay. All right, there's a letter and a couple of, oh, neato. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to these drawings. These look good. Dear Alex, you, hey Alex, me, your new Rage Nation member, Daniel Park, I love being a Rage Nation member. I love all your videos. It's entertaining and fun and pack of new informations every week. I always wait for your new video to come up because you and I and all, all, all of the fellow Rage Nation members love Transformers and other cool movies such as Avengers and X-Men. For my gratitude, I drew some Transformers on grid paper. Check it out. It's really cool. Also, I have some questions for you and I'll appreciate it if you answer them. Why does all Transformers speak English instead of Cybertronian language? I mean, when robots interact with each other, aren't they supposed to speak their own language? Well, they came on Earth, okay? Uh, and they learned Earth languages through the World Wide Web, all right? And because of that, they speak English. And well, why don't they speak Cybertronian? Well, they can. They can speak Cybertronian to each other, but um, they speak English because they feel like, well, they're on Earth. It would be respectful to speak Earth Earth's language. It's just like how you're in a different country. You know, it's better if you learn their language, okay? So... You know, that way you can get, get a, you know, go about, all right? Uh, number two, do you still believe that there's going to be Stunticons? I believe that there's going to be Stunticons one day, or there's going to be a version of Stunticons, or, or an iteration of Stunticons one day, or there already were in Transformers Age of Extinction. I mean, the Stunticons, I mean, the prototypes were obviously... Uh, uh, um, inspired by Stunticons because, op I mean, uh, Michael Bay wanted sports cars in in a Transformers live action film. And, uh, you know, he's looked at all the cartoons and he probably liked the idea of Stunticons and that's why he included cars like Stinger and also uh, a Lamborghini Aventador. And, you know, while they aren't necessarily Stunticons, they were inspired by the Stunticons, all right? So there you have it. Number three is, do you think Lockdown will have some relationship with Ratchet? Um, in animated, those two were arch enemies. That is exactly why That is exactly why Lockdown and Ratchet were written in the movie the way they were. Uh, uh, Ratchet knew Lockdown and Lockdown uh, played a huge part in the hunting and, and, and the demise of Ratchet. And the, the, the reason why they did that was because uh, there was some inspiration from Animated. So there is some history there, but we don't actually see the full-fledged um, conflict because obviously that took place um, um, sometime before the movies or, or sometime before Age of Extinction. So there you have it from Daniel Park. P.S. From bo For bonus, I drew my own version of Lockdown. Okay, very cool. Let's check out these drawings. I'm really looking forward to these. Okay, so check it out, this out. This is on grid paper. Here's Optimus Prime. This is drawn on grid paper. So uh, he used the squares as a, as, as a way of, um, you know, really... Uh, 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 um, um, you know, as a guide to 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 draw how to be to YouTube video too. Okay, so here is a, a a cross. Here's now this is really cool. The idea of using grid paper to draw uh, an Autobot or Transformers characters very very cool, very unique, and I like what you did there. I think it's very creative. Now here's Grimlock, which I originally thought was Bumblebee because of the yellow and the black, but it's not. It's actually Grimlock, and I started recognizing it right after I look at the shoulders. So very cool. And here is Hound. Hound is a little like um like a bulky obviously just because uh, he has a lot of mass to him so even on grid paper he's still very recognizable okay now let's look at Bumblebee now Bim Bumblebee is really recognizable because of the way the uh, the chest or the torso was drawn and Stinger is more or less the same uh, Stinger really just has a few differences and uh, that is uh, the head well actually not even the head it's the uh, uh, like well, obviously the color and the, the other parts to them, but uh, for the most part, they look very, very similar. Thus being Bumblebee's arch nemesis. Now check out Lockdown. Lockdown is very, very cool. I love the 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 uh, the, the, the that nice touch with the um, the the green the green uh, uh, like battle mask. So that's very cool. Check out Drift. Drift. 
full-on samurai look, so he is very recognizable. He looks good, and I think you did a great job with Drift. Um, here is uh, Galvatron. Galvatron. This is uh, that's how you would pronounce Galvatron in Japanese. That would be Galvatron. <laughs> and Galvatron looks good. Um, Scorn, my favorite Dinobot. Scorn, check that out. He looks great. Uh, Scorn's got a lot of detail there. I love the fact that his uh, his uh, uh, um, uh, right arm is a tail, making him very very unique. And finally, here's the bonus drawing. If you get caught by this merciless bounty hunter, there's nothing you can do to escape, but to but to just wait for your death. So check that out. There is um. Lockdown. In in uh, Daniel's own iteration of him, this is a very unique drawing. Uh, and also, King of the Dinobot Rage won't end unless he destroys all of his enemies. Here is his version of Grimlock. Wow. You did a good job there. I really like the fact that you, you made this your own version. Because, um, you know, everybody's got their own... Uh, unique interpretation and their own style. Everybody's got their own flavor and what you showed me is something very unique and I really appreciate that. And It's good to see, you know, it's very uh, 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 fascinating to see um, every, everybody's different uh, styles because, you know, we are all individuals and we, we have our own versions of uh, uh, or interpretations of what we think a Transformers would look like. And I think what you did was showed me something very, very neat. So very, very cool. Now, this is a package from Japan. This is from Steven. And I am very excited to open this package uh, because this comes in a box this size. And let's see what we got in store. What's he got in store for me? So let's open this up and uh, uh, let's find out. Wow, this is a this tape is very strong. <laughs> and uh, let's find out where the center of this box is. Uh, that is a good question. The center of the box. Where is the center of the box? <laughs> oh, okay, I see. What uh, it's 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 uh it opens up like this, I believe. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh no, it doesn't. I don't know. I'm just going to cut it here. I'm just going to cut it right here and see how this opens up. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Let's do this! Hey! Okay. Ba -bom. Da -da, da -da. Whoa! It's, it's gift wrapped! It's gift wrapped! This must be a birthday present, I really appreciate that. Let's open up the uh, letter, let's read the letter first. Ooh, cool. Dear Alex, read an Asian grandma voice. <laughs> As you know, 2AM currently in Tokyo and on my toy hunt to wanted to get you a gift as you already have all the latest tier 4 figures to saw this little guy which too knew you would appreciate if you don't if you didn't love him already you can consider this as late B day present or a an appreciation of the entertainment you continue to bring us please keep up the good work by the way as for a question do you realize that number 1 the Purge franchise is produced by Michael Bay. Yes, I know that as a matter of fact. The Purge is a film or franchise in uh, Michael Bay from Michael Bay's Platinum Dunes production company. All right. Number two, have you seen any of these two films? No, I have not. I haven't seen any of those two films. I really wasn't interested in any of them. Uh, but I might see the second one just because Frank Grillo is in, in, in the second one. And I actually like Frank Grillo as an actor. Number three, if... Bay's involvement was more known to known by everyone. Do you think they would be more hated and get lower run tomato score? I sure think so. Um, you know what? I don't think it matters that much, mainly because um, the purge is the purge. It's a concept that a lot of people that uh, uh, find fascinating. I, I mean, like certain movie goers. So it doesn't really matter. It really comes down to the story. So I don't think it would make a difference. Uh, anyway, uh, as I as two as I didn't think have oh I see you write your your eyes like the number two so that's why I keep on saying two and I'm reading it wrong anyways as I didn't have paper to uh, write to write <laughs> this posted slip I sure hope I I day I sure hope one day we can meet or toy hunt in Tokyo together 
P.S. You can call me Ren or Steven. One is my Japanese name, one English. Regards, SM. Okay. Thank you very much, Steven. I appreciate the letter. It's very, very awesome. And I'm going to open up this box right now. Very, very cool to see this. Uh, I don't even know what it is yet, but first I'm going to open up the packaging because I love opening up packaging. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, what? Hey, this is cool. I've never seen this before. This is the Legacy of Revel Tech Cybertron Convoy Legacy of Revel Tech Revel Tech Yamaguchi. 30th anniversary edition of the Revel Tech Prime. I've seen the Revel Tech Prime. Uh, I've never seen them in this version before. That is pretty cool. Wow. It's it's uh, it comes with the the gun and it also comes with the leader of Matrix. Now I have the Revel Tech Optimus Prime from the live action movies. I never had this actually. So this is very cool. This is very unique and I'm actually very happy to receive this as a gift. So thank you very much, Steven. I really appreciate this. This is a very unique gift and I am definitely going to include this as part of my collection of Revel Techs. All right, so thank you very much. Wow, that is cool. Thanks a lot, Steven. And thank you to everybody else who once again contributed to another episode of Rage Nation Mail. We, of course, got more Rage Nation Mail to go through. And I really appreciate all your letters, artwork, and contributions. So thank you very much. Uh, once again, thank you to Steven and everybody else. And thank you to Steve for this very cool piece, which I'm going to add to my collection. I really appreciate that. There you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Woo!